All right, disclaimer, no confirmations here, but there are some truly interesting theories coming your way. So welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate, and these are 10 celebrities who are involved in secret cults. Number 10, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Now Beyonce and Jay-Z have been rumored to be involved with the Illuminati for a very long, long time. Being the king and queen of the music industry, there's no chance in this world that they would be able to escape any dark rumors that suggest that these two have been behind some of the most major events in human history. So suggesting that they decided who wins a Grammy, who's the president, and of course, whose song gets to be number one on the charts. Now, their rumors do not come from nowhere, as many fans of the couple have noticed patterns arising over the years. But not from them, from other people on the internet making outrageous claims like Beyonce is actually Italian and not African American. <laughs> or the one that suggests that she is somehow the reason Donald Trump lost the election. Those are rumors started by a politician from Florida named K.W. Miller who ran for Congress. Guess who lost? The unhinged posts were littered with QAnon conspiracy hashtags and goes on to claim that the singer's pop songs are filled with hidden messages and insidious symbols. Even a simple sentence like Becky with the good hair is somehow a part of a secret code. According to this woman and lots of online theories, this couple is trying to brainwash people with their music and their videos. Getting into the facts and fictions of the Illuminati is impossible and would take well over 12 minutes to talk about. There is also the hand symbol that Jay-Z would sometimes throw up on stage. It's meant to look like a diamond, but it was instead interpreted as the Illuminati logo with a little eye in the middle. So do with that what you will. Number nine, Shawn Mendes. Like I said at the top of this video, none of these are just me telling you the truth. Most of these are online theories or observations made by the public in order to make some sense of something odd. For example, Shawn Mendes, the Treat You Better singer, was recently linked to a cult known as the Magical Mystery School. Rumors come after he was spotted spending some time with a woman named Charlie Travers. Travers originally found fame after she appeared on Big Brother UK in 2013. But now living in LA, she's worked with a psychic medium called Tyler Henry on his reality series Hollywood Medium. Apparently these two have been on a handful of dates, with one of them being filmed by some people passing by. It was later revealed that Sean was just partaking in a breathing exercise, but from the videos, it just looks like he is vibing on the beach. Many fans of Mendez have actually sent in tips to the podcast De Moi, alleging that he has become a part of some new age organization, normally classified as a cult. The description of the Magical Mystery School is that it's a place that provides services to the public and behind closed doors for only those who have eyes to see and those that have ears to hear. Apparently, the rumors come not just from his new possible relationship, from the fact that he is apparently working with three gurus who are connected to the Mystery Church. Like I said, there's no confirmations in these allegations, so if Shawn Mendes is watching this, why, man? You're Shawn Mendes! Go do something else! Number eight, Taylor Swift. If there is one woman on this planet who's rumored to be in the Illuminati that actually has a ton of influence, it's Taylor Swift. I do apologize to any Swifties watching this right now. Love her music, but seriously, take a chill pill! Taylor Swift was recently named Person of the Year, broke a Guinness World Record for most ticket sales ever, and she broke a box office record by releasing her era's tour in theaters. And it somehow sold out faster than the last Avengers movie. I wish I was making that up, but that's a real thing that happened on planet Earth. Part of the reason people think that this woman might be involved in some cult stuff behind the scenes is due to the insane amount of success that she has in her life. On top of all the accolades I just listed from this year alone, this woman has been a staple in pop music since the very first time we heard her sing. She was born on Friday the 13th in 1989, which is another big reason people think that there might be some dark stuff surrounding her life. Well, my grandma was born on Halloween. It's not like the place was haunted or anything. Just some flickering lights and a weird face that popped up on the TV from time to time. We never did figure out why that rocking chair was always moving. There, of course, is no proof that any of this is true, and she may have been named Person of the Year because of all the money she's made and the major influence she has had on social media and the world in general throughout this year alone, again, good for her, jeez. Number seven, Michelle Phan. Taking a step away from high tier celebrities and musicians for a moment, let's shift the focus to a YouTube sensation that suddenly dropped off the face of the earth only to return completely changed. Beauty vlogger Michelle Phan seemed to have ditched Luna's foundations and brilliant eyeliners for a more celestial path, you might say. The founder of EM Cosmetics recently shared with followers that she was capable of healing a man in a wheelchair after learning how to master brain and heart coherence. Yeah, I feel like a hippie too. 
Spam wrote on her Instagram stories that the miraculously cured person who has yet to speak on this heavenly experience is not only walking now, but dancing with joy. Because yes, walking wasn't enough of a miracle, you had to make them dance too. The vlogger's alleged superpowers come as a result of a $2,000 week-long retreat in San Diego with Dr. Joe Dispenza, a chiropractor and international speaker who reportedly healed himself back to walking, just using the power of his mind. Oh wow, who knew that if my grandpa just thought hard enough that he could cure his Parkinson's and just do a little ditty for us? Oh, it's crazy. According to Michelle, she has always resonated with Dr. Dispenza and how he transformed himself. According to Michelle, the miracle of healing can be achieved by sleeping for four hours only, meditating for five hours straight with no breaks, not even for the bathroom, so that yoga mat must be absorbent. She eats, then two hours of learning science, which is very vague, like what kind of science, and then meditates again, takes a break, and meditates and sleeps. Many people called her out saying this sounded like cult behavior, seeing as she wasn't allowed to use the bathroom, and the organization she was involved with was literally controlling when she could sleep. That's sus. Number six, Jaden Smith. So this is a bit of a weird entry. Jaden Smith has been linked to a cult called the Organite Society with allegations dating back to 2014. The Organite Society has an Instagram bio that reads, we are a secret society of individuals who create and place Organite to balance Gaia's energy. Gaia is the goddess and creator of the earth and the universe and Organite is a mixture of catalyzed fiberglass resin with metal shavings poured into a mold. Crystals, essential oils and high vibration organic materials are usually added to the mixture for their ability to make the energy more coherent or to enhance the work of the organite. So people spotted Jaden Smith leaving pretty rocks everywhere and they were like, oh, that's some cult stuff right there, dude. Number five, Joaquin Phoenix. The man behind the madness of the Joker has had a pretty steady career consisting of epic performances in films like Gladiator and Inherent Vice, but before the lights and camera, Phoenix was a part of a notorious cult, the Children of God, essentially a group whose goal was to entice people into joining them by claiming physical lovemaking to be an expression of the Lord's love, with its leaders even referring to themselves as kings and queens. Joaquin's parents joined the controversial religious group in the early 1970s and traveled with them throughout South America, along with his siblings, including the late River Phoenix. But they finally left when they realized what they were a part of. Phoenix claims that his parents fell victim to the cult's we are a community thing and not a cult attitude, and they were blind to just the true intentions of the crew, which was to lure impressionable people into their walls and use them in any way that they wanted. Thankfully, Joaquin and his family were able to make it out unscathed, but judging by his demeanor in interviews, he still gets little flashbacks from time to time of what but we can only imagine to be some flabby images. Number four, Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder may be known best these days for her role in Stranger Things, or maybe you know her from her shoplifting habits, but did you know that she grew up on a commune that Winona herself admitted was cult-like? In an interview from Parade, she talked about how she and her family had lived on a commune in Northern California. While she did admit that the situation felt cult-like, in hindsight, she actually remembers her time there pretty fondly. She apparently grew up on 380 acres of land, and this place was just gorgeous. The land was owned by a friend of her father, where she lived with six other families. And while the word commune can carry some pretty negative ideas along with it, she swears her home was nothing like that. She attended a normal school outside of the commune, but admitted to having a difficult time socially growing up. She was raised with no TV, and she spent a lot of her time outdoors, reading or putting on shows with other kids and making up games to play. Around the time she was 11, the family moved away from the property, but the notion that she was in a cult has followed her everywhere, when from the sounds of it, she just lived in the woods. Now, that's the baseline for being in a cult. A lot of people in Canada are in a cult. Number three, Michelle Pfeiffer. The woman best known for playing characters like Catwoman or Velma Von Tussle from Hairspray. During an interview with the Sunday Telegraph, she explained that she fell in with a very controlling couple after moving to LA when she was 20. This kind of personal trainer believed in breath and Ryanism, the idea that people can live without food or water and instead just get their nourishment from the sun. According to her, she was put on a diet that nobody could adhere to and she did not live with these people but she was with them a lot and they were constantly telling her that she needed to wear certain things or what she could eat and how much she had to pay for their services. It wasn't until she met her first husband Peter Horton that she realized what was happening. Peter was casted to be in a film about the moon 
Moonies, the name given to followers of Sun Myung Moon's Unification Church, and while helping him do research for that role, she realized the similarities in her own situation. She had spoken with an ex Moonie, and he was describing the psychological manipulation, and it just kind of clicked. While reading about these people, I couldn't help but think of Twin Flames Universe. It's a cult that markets itself as some kind of like a self help dating program, when in reality, it's just two rich people yelling at lonely people to pay them and do the mirror exercise. Crazy, they're crazy. They told people what to eat, which was essentially every bad food that you can think of. You know, the ones that taste good but make you gain 70 pounds in less than a year? The similarities are insane, and I'm pretty happy that Michelle got out of there while she did. Number two, David Arquette. David and his sister both admitted to being born into a cult. The Arquette family resided within the confines of a commune known as the Skymont Subbit in Virginia. Despite rumors claiming that the place was a hippie collective cult, Rosanna Arquette assured the Daily Beast that the place was a setup as a way of worshiping God in any way that you seemed fit, but it wasn't a dedicated cult. It instead felt more like a giant field of dysfunctional human beings. In order for the commune to be sustainable, Patricia admitted that everyone there lived in poverty to achieve a small utopian society. This meant that there was no access to electricity or indoor plumbing, not even running water for them to drink. The Arquette family moved out of the commune in 1974, but life did not get better from there. Number one, Jada Pinkett Smith. Yes, for those of you who don't know that Jada lives in a uh, world of science, can't even say what the real name is, but if you Google L. Ron Hubbard and science, you'll know what I'm talking about. Leah Romini, who you might know from King of Queens or Old School, is more than just an actor. She is also a very outspoken person against Jada Smith and her beliefs. The rumors that Will Smith and Jada were big into science Science is something that Leah mentions in her book Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Weird Science, and brought it up again when speaking to the Daily Beast in 2017. She claimed to know for certain that Jada was involved for a long time. She had seen Will once in a blue moon, however, she did spot Jada attending tons of events at the Celebrity Center in Hollywood. When Leah claimed to have this knowledge, Jada clapped back on Twitter, naming all of the houses of worship that she had visited without being a member. A year later, Leah appeared on Red Table Talk to hash things out. After the interview, Jada gushed about how they connected in the interview, claiming that they were broken little babies who just, they were abandoned by their parents. Yeah, Leah Romini just said that lady needs help. Are you in a cult? Let us know in the comments below. Follow the channel for more celebrity content every day. Leave a like down below if you had some fun, and thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time.